very good morning friends so i hope you are all safe and healthy well i started off in this month a series on the first time adoption of indias that is indias 101 well in the previous videos what i have done i have just introduced you to a basic terminology in terms of the first time adoption now we going to enter the core area in terms of how the first indesh adoption is done typically we are looking at making you can say the opening balance sheet or what you call a third balance sheet on the date of transition now if you remember let's say for example a company decides that they want to go in for adoption of indesh for the first time let's say in the year 1890 so we can say 1819 is the year in which you want to go for adoption of indias for the first time so you going to make a comparatives for the year 17 18 as well and first april 17 is what we going to call the date of transition so this is the date on which the opening indias balance sheet is made now when you going to make the opening indias balance sheet there would be certain accounting policies which i need to adopt for the purpose of making this opening balance sheet which is moving from you can say the previous gap which is the i gap the accounting standards and to the indices so today in this video i'm just going to give you a basic structure of what kind of thought processes we need to keep in mind when we are converting the opening indices balance sheet that means we are translating the previous gap financial statements into the opening third indices balance sheet let's find this thought process in this video in detail an academy par jo bacche ca final ki may 22 aur november 22 ki taiyari kar rahe hain unke liye aa raha hai ca final mein ek yuddha batch bhai aapko ek yuddh ladna hai aur is yuddh ke andar aapko 100% jeetna hi hai to iske liye aapke liye ek aa raha hai ca final ka comprehensive batch जो शुरू होने जा रहा है सेवनटीन नवंबर को और इस बैच के अंदर आपको सी ए फाइनल ग्रुप वन के सारे के सारे सब्जेक्ट्स एक ही सब्सक्रिप्शन के अंदर मिलेंगे ये बैच एक कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव बैच है जिसके अंदर आपको कंप्लीट कोर्स की एक डिटेल्ड कवरेज मिलेगी और इसके अंदर आपके साथ इंडिया के टॉप एजुकेटर्स अलग अलग सब्जेक्ट्स के अंदर जुड़ेंगे जिनमें आपके साथ अमित पोपरी सर जुड़ेंगे लॉ के लिए और मैं जुड़ूंगा फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग के लिए राहुल मलकान सर एसएफएम और खुशबू सांगवी मैम ऑडिट के लिए सभी बैचेस के टाइमिंग अलग अलग है किसी में कोई क्लैश नहीं है आप ये सभी क्लासेस लाइव अटेंड कर सकते हैं और इस बैच का डिस्क्रिप्शन लिंक आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स के अंदर मिलेगा और इसके अंदर हंड्रेड आपकी लाइव क्लासेज हैं हाँ यदि आप क्लासेज मिस कर देते हैं किसी वजह से तो आप उन्हें अनरिकॉर्डेड जो रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर्स हैं उन्हें आप एक्सेस कर पाएंगे अनलिमिटेड मोड में तो एडवांटेजेस आपको ये हैं कि 100 परसेंट लाइव क्लासेस हैं और अगर मिस हो जाए तो रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर्स को आप एक्सेस कर सकते हैं अनलिमिटेड टाइम्स नो लिमिटेशंस और इसके अलावा आपकी प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट सीरीज होती है एवरी फोर्थ सेशन इज अ डाउट सॉल्विंग सेशन और ये सब कुछ आपको एक ही सब्सक्रिप्शन के अंदर मिलता है और इसके लिए आप एक नजर डाल सकते हैं इन सब प्राउड लर्नर्स पर जिन्होंने अन अकेडमी पर अपनी लर्निंग करी और ऑल इंडिया रैंक वन ऑल इंडिया रैंक टू ऑल इंडिया रैंक थ्री एंड सो ऑन ये आपके सामने लिस्ट है भाई आप भी इस लिस्ट के अंदर शामिल हो सकते हैं सिर्फ थोड़ी सी प्लानिंग की जरूरत है और इस पर्टिकुलर बैच के लिए आप अपनी सब्सक्रिप्शन प्लान कर सकते हैं और इसके लिए अलग अलग मंथ्स के अलग अलग प्लान्स अवेलेबल हैं स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम थ्री मंथ्स सिक्स मंथ्स ट्वेल्व मंथ्स तो इन सब बैचेस को आप प्लान कीजिए और अकॉर्डिंगली इसके अंदर प्लान करके आप अपने बजट के हिसाब से चीजें कीजिए और इस पर ऑफ कोर्स आप टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट भी अवेल कर सकते हैं और डिस्काउंट अवेल करने के लिए मेरा कोड इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं सी ए के बी टेन और जैसे मैंने कहा कि आपको इन बैचेस का लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स के अंदर मिलेगा तो आइए मिलकर लेट्स क्रैक इट वेल आई वुड पुट इट लाइक दिस दैट व्हेन अ कंपनी इज प्रिपेयरिंग 
you can see an opening in this balance sheet that's what we call a third balance sheet on the date of transition there is a general principle what is there and then there is what i popularly call as e and e that's what i call exceptions and exemptions now today in this video we could understand what is the general principle and what is that e in e now when a company is supposed to convert or translate the previous gap financial statement that is the balance sheet into the index balance sheet on the date of transition well in a very idealistic situation i would say the company is required to follow all the accounting policies in a retrospective manner that means i would you know technically tell the company that if you want to move to ind as then do one thing you make entire balance sheet and consider all the accounting policies as if these accounting policies were in inception when you started of the company now this is going to be you know really really technical for the company because if you were to tell them to do a retrospective accounting you know for all the policies in the company now that's going to put a lot of pressure on the company firstly you can say that there would be a lot of judgments which might be required and then at times you know the cost involved in terms of making this kind of a balance sheet would you know far exceed you can say the benefits derived from making such a balance sheet so in this particular case it would be putting a too much pressure on the company so what indus 101 tells you is that there is a general principle that you go for a complete retrospective accounting applications but at the same time considering that there might be you know a lot of efforts in terms of cost involved which may not be worth the benefits considering that the management would have to make a couple of uh, judgments in terms of a retrospective accounting so they've given what we call e and e what is called the exemptions and the exceptions now first of all let's understand the general principle so as i already said that when you follow the principle of making an opening in this balance sheet there are a total of you can say four adjustments now i'll be making a separate video of course where we will understand these four adjustments in a little more detail so that we can get the hang of the general principle in terms of the opening balance sheet but then as we said that these adjustments would take care of the fact that there is a complete retrospective accounting in terms of making the opening balance sheet but as i said that there are a couple of exemptions as well as exceptions which are given in the indias 101 now these exemptions and these exceptions are something which is like a one time application for the company now indias 101 is going to be applicable to the company when you go to apply the indias for the first time so you can't avail these exemptions as well as these exceptions at a later date it is only meant for the first time adopters so what are these exceptions and what are these exemptions well if you read indias 101 you would see that there are a total of three appendix to indias 101 one is what we call appendix b and one is what we call appendix c and there is a third one what is called appendix d now if you look at the appendix b of the indias it deals with what we call the exceptions exceptions are what we call the mandatory exceptions where indias 101 is telling the companies that you are not you are indirectly prohibited in terms of applying retrospective application so you can see the appendix b in terms of indus 101 is giving you a list of all those prohibited you know areas where a retrospective accounting is not to be done and then you can see we've got exceptions appendix c and d now these appendix c and d is what we call optional exemptions mind the terms very carefully we said it's mandatory exceptions in appendix b where you are prohibited from a retrospective application and you can say that there is appendix c and appendix d now appendix c and appendix d is the optional exemption which means a company's got a choice 
you want to go for a retrospective application you can you want to go in for you know a prospective accounting you can we given a choice to the company that they could consciously you know pick and choose those exemptions so but then why two appendix for the exemption purposes well one of the appendix c is dealing completely with the concept of business combination now that's a wide area you know where the company might have gone in for some business combinations prior to the first time adoption of indus so they've got completely devoted the appendix c to the area of business combinations and the appendix d is dealing with the optional exemptions in area you can say other than the business combination now in total you can say that there there, there are a total of 8 exceptions given in appendix b and there are a total around 20 exemptions in the appendix c and d now that's too wide in nature now what we're going to do in the coming videos i'm not going to discuss all the 8 and 20 exemptions with you but we're going to pick up some crucial points some crucial you know exceptions and exemptions and we're going to dig deep into these particular exceptions as well as exemption so the model of the story what we have understood so far is in terms of indus 101 that when you are making the opening balance sheet on the date of transition you need to ideally apply a retrospective effect which means that there is a general principle which ensures a retrospective application with the help of what we call four adjustments now what are those four adjustments we'll see but you know to give you certain relaxations in terms of first time adoption there are certain mandatory exceptions where you are prohibited from retrospective accounting and there are a total of 20 exemptions option exemptions where you've got a choice i hope the thought process must have been very clear now in terms of general principle is one area which we need to discuss and the e in e the exemptions and exceptions is another area so in the coming videos what i'm going to do i'm going to deal in one particular video about the general principles and then in the other video i'm going to talk in terms of e in e and then we're going to take the journey forward in terms of digging certain areas of exemptions and exceptions that's all in this particular video thank you for watching take care and bye bye